So what do we got here? I have a very old Tiffany clock. It's Tiffany and Company. It is a Tiffany. Uh, and it just goes to prove that time is money. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell a Tiffany wall clock. I know that it's quite rare and it's a one of a kind piece because it has some pretty unique paintings on it. I'd like to get just around 8,000 for it. Um, the least amount I'll take is about 4,000. This is really intriguing. Do you know much about it? Well, I know a little bit about it. Um, probably done around the 1800s. I think is really unique about it is, is that it has all these reverse paintings on it. Uh-huh. Um, so what I've been told is, is that, you know, the artist had to actually paint it backwards in order for you to view it forwards. OK. Uh, this is called a banjo clock. OK. OK. And. Um, on federal clocks, this was like the most popular motif. This was the first um, like major sea battle during the War of 1812. Oh, wow. Okay, do you mind if I look at this thing a little bit more? No, that's okay. <sighs> There's some writing on the inside, but I don't know what that's from. That is a clockmaker's repair. They have this weird little script and everything like that, so next time they work on it, they know what they did. Oh, OK. okay? But it looks like it was in December of 1916 it was worked on. Oh. <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah. OK, um, and do you want to sell it? Yes, I'm looking for 8000 OK, now, um, a few things. It's not from the 1820s. This is probably from right around 1900. These things retail for right around $2,000. OK, the without Tiffany, it's like $1,000. OK. So I will give you like 1200 bucks. Mm. I would be more inclined around the four or five. They just don't go for that. Right. I'd go 13. Is it, or are we just too far apart? I think we're too far apart. All right. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. I was really disappointed on how much they were going for. I did learn a lot about it. Uh, it was a great history lesson today.